Hello everyone, this is Stan Heller with VectorVest Canada. Today's video is the best dividend aristocrats and we're going to talk about why you should have at least some of them in your long-term retirement portfolio. So before we get started, just a quick risk disclaimer. There is risk in investing and just know that everything you will see and hear today is for educational purposes only and should never be considered as investment advice. So what we're going to cover today, what are the dividend aristocrats? We'll give you the definition and go from there. We'll explain why you should own them. And we'll talk about where to find them in Canada and the US, how to analyze them and how to create a watch list of the very best ones. So what are dividend aristocrats? Canadian companies that have raised their dividend for five consecutive years or more and they have a market cap of at least 300 million qualify as a dividend aristocrat. In the United States, companies must have raised their dividend for 25 consecutive years or more. Now, important question is why you should own them. Well, they're great businesses with consistent and predictable earnings. They are able to raise their dividends in good times and bad, and they are committed to deliver growing shareholder returns. And finally, they are mature companies that hold up better than others in weak markets, and they tend to recover faster as well. And where do we find the best dividend aristocrats? Well, in Canada, we need to create a watch list of dividend aristocrats and we use the holdings in an ETF CDZ uh, managed by iShares, the BlackRock company. And so I'll just show you, we just type in CDZ iShares into your web browser, go on down to the holdings and download the holdings to an Excel spreadsheet. On the U.S. side, VectorVest has done the work for us. We have the dividend payers watch list folder and we look for the watch list drip 25 plus years. So with that, we're going to go into the program. If you like this topic and, and uh, sort of the, uh, the theme of longer term investing, just let me know with a quick uh, like in the um, YouTube channel and we'll make sure we follow up and do some more. So from there, let's go right into VectorVest Canada. Actually, I'm going to start with uh, the VectorVest US program just to start us off here. And there it is there. And I'll pull it over to this screen and I'll just start here because it's quite easy to find the pre-built watch list and I just want to show you that right off the bat. So if I come to the viewers tab right from the home page, you'll notice when I scroll down, we have the dividend payers folder. When I left click on it, I can open up the drip 25 plus years and you can see in the comments section, these are 25 plus straight years of higher dividends. So there are 136 dividend aristocrats in this list and you can see the watch list averages down below the upside potential with relative value just a little bit less than fair which is why you probably want to cherry pick and identify some of these stocks for your own watch list of dividend aristocrats picking the very best uh, from the chart patterns and with RV relative safety you would like a you know on a zero to two scale you want a relative safety above one if possible here the average is 0.99 relative timing our technical indicator and then our value safety timing master indicator and when we go to the right we see the dividend information such as the dividend yield 2.10 is a pretty good average for dividend growers and they're growing at 11% per year in the DG. Dividend safety on a 0 to 99, the overall average is fairly strong and individually some of these stocks will be very strong in terms of their dividend safety. 
So that's the U.S. side. That's where you find them, and you recognize a lot of these names: Lowe's, uh, Sherwin Williams. Let me just uh, auto fit here. Uh, Western Pharma, you might not uh, recognize, but it's a, a very strong dividend Aristocat as well. If I click on the stock graph, you can see it's done very well this year. Did have a little bit of a hiccup here, like most stocks in uh, the market uh, during the COVID collapse. But if I click on five years, you can see the dividends are stair ste stepping to the upside earnings per share. So this would be a stock that you would put in your watch list. The uh, price is rising over the five years, very steady, accelerating now. And I think that would be an excellent one for the watch list. And you would go through and cherry pick maybe 20 to 30 stocks to put in a watch list so that you can manage it uh, on a week to week basis and identify the, the ones you want to add to your portfolio. And we will do the same in the Canadian side. So from there, let's close out of the U.S. And we'll just uh, open up the Canadian database. And here again, we go to the Viewers tab. And because we don't have a pre-built watch list, we're going to have to uh, create it. And then we can manage and track our Aristocats from there. So let's uh, go to our web browser and we're just going to type in CDZ iShares click on enter and blackrock.com should show up pretty close to the top they manage the CDZ which is the dividend aristocrat watch list and so here we have the description we have um, some promo information or sort of a description of what CDZ is all about. And then we just want to scroll down and here's the top 10 holdings, but we really want to download all the holdings. So I'll just left click on download holdings. It'll open it up in the bottom of my screen. Left click on open file. And there are a lot of information that we don't actually need or want so we just highlight the first stock in the list and we'll scroll down all the way to USD and we highlight them all by left clicking on the bottom one and now we can right click and copy and from here we'll just go to a new folder right click again and paste the stocks in our list. Now right off the bat um, you would have noticed if you looked at the holdings in CDZ that we have USD which is cash basically on the US side so we'll delete that one that's not a stock symbol. CAD is Canadian dollar cash and we'll right click again and delete that one. And then there are quite a few .UN income trusts that use the full dot un symbol we want to eliminate those so what we'll do to do that is just highlight the entire list again it's 81 now and we'll go to home and find and select and we'll highlight replace and select it here we'll just type in dot un at the top find what and replace with dot u and that's what VectorVest uses for symbols for the income trusts. And I'll just re click on replace all. And it made nine replacements. So now I've got a list and I can import directly into the VectorVest program. And I would just file and save it. I'll just save it to my download folder here and call it C. Whoops, C. <laughs> DZ Aristocrats. Click on the Save button, and I've got my list. So I can close out of that and close out of that. Close out of that, and I'm back into the Canadian database, and I'm in the Viewers tab once again. So now I would just 
create a group to hold these stocks and I've already done that so I'll just show you how I did it I just left click up on the page area up here click on new group and type in the name dividend aristocrats CDC CDZ I should say and there we go so I've got that and from here I'll just create a new watch list and it'll be in this folder that I want to make sure is highlighted there and once again a drop down menu opens and we'll just call it CDZ div aristocats click uh, on add and now I've got my subfolder there so I'm ready to add stocks and I can just come up here and start adding them I'm sure the banks are in here for example you just separate the symbols by a comma and if you don't know the symbol once you start typing in the name it'll show up for you in VectorVest so you're all set but the easy way now that we've saved our uh, file as a, as a uh, CSV file and I should have mentioned that we need to save it as a .csv so we've done that we'll uh, just click on import symbols from a file and there's the one we want with .csv click on open oops and I think I clicked on the wrong one so we'll have to just do that again there we go I actually named it that didn't I so there we go all right so it shows up in a sub menu these are the symbols that it recognizes we'll click on OK and it'll ask us to click on OK one more time just to make sure and it automatically loads our 81 symbols that you can see up here at the top so we're all set We've got our symbols, our dividend aristocrats are there. And I'm just going to come in and um, I'll sort by CI. And we can look at the watch list average graph so we can see the relative value 0.99, very similar to the US uh, information, the relative safety 0.94. So we might want to work on that a little bit. There's our technical indicator, the RT, and the value safety timing. Dividend yield uh, 2.98 is quite strong and dividend safety and dividend growth are better than average as well. But from here, what I would suggest you do, and I've done this as well, is just graph them all and pick some of the better looking stocks. This is a one year graph and I'm going to go to a five year just so I can check the dividends paid down below and that the earnings has been rising over the five years price is rising nicely as well and we can see the buy sell hold ratings at the top and in a weekly graph there's not very many sell ratings and of course your goal here is to hold these stocks as long as you can uh, if especially if you have a longer time horizon and just really allow that compounding of the dividends to take place so you would you would want to use a fairly wide stop you don't want your portfolio to collapse but if you've if you've owned some of these stocks for three four five years you can give it a lot of latitude to um, to pull back knowing that the dividend growth that you've achieved is going to help fund your retirement going forward so Borelex the um, earnings has fallen uh, quite a little bit here but starting to come back other than that it's a pretty nice looking chart it's a utility and the dividend yield is 1.91. Franco Nevada, it is a mining stock, so it's a little bit more cyclical, but this one has been good for over the five years. And dividend yield, not that strong, but it's a dividend growth that you're looking for. And so you would just go through and pick the ones that have a smooth, steady price chart, bottom left to top right I think this is a little bit of a glitch in the program but they've been raising their dividends another good dividend payer excellent dividend payer you know the COVID collapse certainly affected just about all the stocks in the database some a little more than others but this is an excellent one so you would just go through create your watch list I went through and created one uh, 
which I'll just quickly show you having uh, done my uh, cherry picking. Just put it in this folder. So I just looked for top charts and I picked 30 of the very best charts that I could find in that list of 81 and relative safety improved from 0.94 to 0.99. RT, the technicals, is looking better. Uh, dividend safety is a little bit better. Good, good solid dividend yield. So everything about this list is pretty good. And if I go back five years, which we can do in VectorVest quite easily, just go back to 2015, September, and about the 17th. And this is how they would have looked at the time with all of our indicators at the time. But I can just do a quick test of all 30. And you can see it's 111% increase compared to the TSX, which was up 17%. And the total annualized return is 22%, not including the dividends, just as a this is just a quick test of the capital appreciation and you know, we didn't have any losers here and some of the better price gainers are up at the top. So I think we've got ourselves now a, a really strong list but I would encourage you to go through and make your own decisions uh, about which stocks you like and of course many of these stocks as they look at the list CNR and Fortis and others They've paid uh, or increased their dividend more, far more than five years. Fortis, well over 45 years at this stage, for example, uh, and the requirement is just five years. So we've got some really strong stocks in this list. All right, so we'll just go back into the program. What did we learn today? What are the dividend aristocrats and why you should own them? how to find them in Canada and the US and how to analyze them and create your own watch list of the very best ones. So I hope you found this video useful. If you're not a VectorVest subscriber and you want to give it a try, um, it's 30 days for just $9.95 US dollars. So you can give us a call 1-88-658-7638. And if you have any uh, questions, you can send me an email, stan.heller at vectorvest.ca. And again, if you like the content of this type of video for the YouTube channel, click on the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks, everyone.